Hey Leo, it is CJ here. I hope you're doing really well. Welcome to my channel. This reading is going to be a general read for you for the month of July 2022, or of course, whenever you are drawn to listen to it. I think we should just get into it. Thank you so much for all of your support, your likes, your subscribes, your comments. It really helps my channel grow and it also helps to get the messages out to those that need them. All right, Leo, let us see what is going on for you for the month of July. 2022. We're going to start off with getting an animal oracle, then I will grab get a moonology and we'll move into the three card spread. All right. Oh my goodness. What is going on? All right, spirit, show me clearly for Leo, our fire sign, our beautiful, powerful fire sign. Okay, we got seahorse that has come out. Wow, that's beautiful. Seahorse is all about equality here. So this is feeling very much like there's something that may be off. It could be indicating that there's something off that you, that the, the scales aren't balanced in some way. It could be a relationship, could be about career. Um, but it is really about trying to bring some equality in, whether that is you needing to speak up so that you are being treated fairly, or perhaps you need to look at someone else's point of view and make sure that the way that you are handling the situation, that it's fair. You know, it could go either way here. But the bottom line here, it is about equal give and take and bringing that into a situation, a relationship, even a career move. Bottom of the deck, we have cat. Wow, intuition. Hmm. And you know what, Leo? I feel like my, the Leos I know, you guys are very intuitive. Um, you're not a water sign. Everyone always says it's the water signs that are the most intuitive. Oh, I tend to believe that everyone, every single sign has major intuition and Leo's I know like I said very much in tune with what's going on in their intuition um, so there's something here that you're needing to really trust your intuition or you're needing to tap into that intuition um, and I'm also gonna say right here that <laughs> blah, 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 my mouth <laughs> God, let me get the words I'm also drawn to the mask on this cat because there's a black cat to the left one to the right but then it appears and feels like this is a, an energy of a human or a person that's in the middle and they're trying to almost um, be the cat because they're wearing a mask. That could be, for some of you, that might be something that you need to pay attention to, okay? Because there may be someone that is pretending that they're above board and that things are all fair and equal, but in fact, someone may be wearing a mask and be taking more than they should be. All right, so now let's move on to the Moonology deck and see what other messages need to come up from Spirit. Okay, show me clearly, please, Spirit, for Leo, for July 2022. What other information, advice? Okay, that one wanted to jump out. The energy is gaining momentum. Wow, waxing moon. All right, I'm kind of picking up a little bit of drama from this card, which is different. Uh, because it's actually quite a beautiful card to look at. It's very peaceful. The colors are very peaceful and healing. So something is gaining momentum here. Now, what is that? I'm not sure. We'll figure that out when we actually get into the spread. I'm just trying to move this so you can see the cards. And I want to see what's on the bottom. Nothing is yet set in stone. Okay. And I feel like this might have wanted to come up too. You're very close to achieving your goal. Okay. Very, oh, confidence is your key to success, new moon, in, new moon in Leo. I wasn't going to take all these cards, but yet I feel like there's an important message in this, so I'm going to leave it upright. You're very close to achieving something here. Now, wh whether that is about bringing in this equality, bringing in this balance, calling someone out that might be wearing a mask, um, but something is gaining some kind of momentum here. It's a waxing moon. And then we have nothing is yet set in stone. So it's almost like, which is the mutable moon. These I'm, I'm really drawn to the color of these cards because they're very similar, right? Um, it's, what am I trying to tell you here? I'm trying to put it into words. I feel like there's still work to be done in some avenue. There's still, it's not quite complete this bringing in the balance, perhaps in a relationship, could be a love relationship even. If someone is wearing the mask and they're not actually, and something isn't balanced, say you're in a love relationship, for example, 
you're in a love relationship, but it's not balanced. Perhaps you're giving more than the other person, but yet the other person is wearing a mask, pretending that they're giving just as much as you. You know, you have those conversations of like, I did this, I did that. And they're like, oh, well, I did this and I did that as well. And they can convince you to believe that it is actually equality. Um, there's still work to be done here. There's still something that has to happen. But I feel like the energy is is building, especially with the energy is gaining momentum. I said, I felt like there's some kind of dramatic thing happening with that. So I don't know if you're gonna be getting to a point where you're actually really gonna stand up and call this other person out. Um, and I said relation, love relationship, could be in career too, right? It could be with family member, put it wherever it is. Um, but I feel like you're kind of getting into that place where you're gonna stand up and make sure the balance gets brought in here. You're getting very close to it. And that confidence is your key to success, Leo. Um, you gotta follow what you know to be true. Okay, so let's, I already got these, where am I going? We're going here. I, I, my energy is a little strange. We're, we are, um, I'm, I live in Canada, just to go off topic for a second. And we're about to have a major, major thunderstorm. And they're even warning about tornado watches perhaps tornado warnings where to make tornadoes are gonna hit and huge hail the size of golf balls. So I'm actually feeling the energy of this storm coming closer and closer. Um, I'm not rushing and I'm not panicking, but at the same time, you know, when there's lightning, I definitely really feel it energetically wise. So please bear with me. Bottom of the deck, you see me do my three shuffles here. It is the Empress. So something is coming to Something is coming to the final stage. I'll put it that way. All right, show me clearly. Spirit, what is going on? Please offer some advice, some guidance. What's happening for Leo in the month of July 2022? Okay, we have the Ace of Wands. Wow, this is a new start. Beautiful energy here. There is a new start, and so you are putting your energy into bringing this balance, this equality, this harmony in some form here. And it has taken a lot of work. You're getting very close to achieving it. It's almost there. Um, trust your intuition at the same time. Side note for those of you that might be relating to this, important to make sure you're seeing people for who they really are. And you would know when you're around someone, you get that instant gut feeling when you know something's off, say they're saying that they're really wonderful, but you instantly get those vibes that make you unsettled. Pay attention to that, okay? Because nothing's yet set in stone. So there's still things to work on and to bring to a conclusion. But the energy is gaining momentum. Um, and you are gonna have this new start in your passion. So perhaps this is where the balance is gonna come through. Maybe you're really gonna stand up for yourself and that's why they're saying own yourself, Leo. You know, really own that part of yourself that is gonna stand up and say, no, this is unfair. I don't believe what you're saying and I'm calling you out. And if you do that, there might be a little bit of drama, maybe. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's still gonna work out. It's all gonna work out probably in your favor here. Let's continue. All right, two more cards here. What's going on, Spirit, with Leo? All right, one more shuffle, okay. Let's go. Ten of Wands. The world, or yeah, the wheel, sorry. Ten of Wands. You are done with the BS. You're done with it. You're done with the lack of equality. You're done with this energy, whoever this might be for you or what it might be for you. You are done with it. You are walking it away. I think you're saying your peace. You're standing up for what you believe in here. Um, and you're letting it go. And it is gonna feel like an achievement for you. And you get the wheel, or gosh, I said that, no, the wheel, gosh, I am flustered right now. You get the wheel of fortune. I feel like that is saying that the wheel is gonna really start spinning in your favor. The tower, complete shake up. See, I told you, I felt that energy with this peaceful cart. The energy is gaining momentum. Something is happening here. I'm taking it, your card, the sun. I'm not going to pull it out, but we're going to keep going. 
you're standing up for something. I really feel it's probably you. Uh, if it's a cross washer, place the energies where, you know, reverse. You're calling someone out. You're calling something out. You're standing up for what is right, what is right for you. You're, it's taking in a lot of energy. You're going to have to be really strong here, Leo, and put your foot down and really mean what you say and say what you mean because you're so close to achieving it. And they're saying you're going to be walking away from it. You're going to have a brand new start. The wheel's going to start moving for you, but it is going to be a shakeup. So I'd prepare yourself for a little bit of feistiness to happen here. Um, but it needs to happen. The sun needs to be able to come back out. This, whatever this is, whatever the shady business is, yeah, it needs to be put in place. All right, let's continue for Leo. What else do you have, Spirit? Feels very, I feel like you're really in your, your, your element here. And the cards are feeling really kind of, hmm, don't know how to explain it. Chaotic maybe a little bit. Spirit, show me clearly what other advice, guidance that you can offer Leo on this reading. Okay. Temperance. Uh, there we go. Okay. Major Arcana. So now you have two, three Major Arcana showing up in this, in this reading. Look, Leo, this is a big deal, whatever this is involving. Um, temperance is about being patient. This all isn't going to happen in a moment like in a second but you're getting there and I feel like you are gonna be rewarded for standing your ground here for really demanding this equality you know not this unbalanced shit anymore you're not tolerating that from whoever this is boss co-worker lover friend family whoever this is and I feel like you are ready to let the tower come in to shake it up and if that means there's going to be a head-to-head -head kind of discussion, prepare yourself for that. But at the same time, that is probably what is needed to achieve this change, to achieve this fairness so that the wheel actually starts to turn. You know, you might be standing your ground at, a, at work and saying, if I don't get this raise, you know, you've been promising me all this stuff. Maybe someone's pretending that they've got your back and they don't, um, and you actually come out and call them out on that, you might decide to walk away, you know? You might be walking away from it. You Or you might even be threatening, like, I'm going to leave, I'm going to walk out if I don't get this equality. And I feel you're getting it. Patience. Patience. Oh, my camera. Extra energy here. My camera, it was flickering and stalling. Anyways, temperance, Sagittarius, fellow fire sign. Patience is going to take patience, but I also feel like it's really important for you to keep your calm. Let the other person, whoever that may be, let them fly off the handle if they want. You stay stand, you stay strong, you stay confident, you stay self-assured, and you remain calm. At the same time, you demand for the right, you demand for what it is that you're wanting here, and then watch how that wheel starts to really move for you. Beautiful energy here, very um, empowering energy. What's on the bottom of that? Page of Wands. And this is, again, Ace of Wands is that brand new start, you know? Wands is the action, everything that we do in this life. Not using so much our logical or emotional, but this is how we move. Ace of Wands is a brand new beginning and it is feeling really good. This is more about our career kind of stuff, our passion kind of stuff. So you're getting this new start for standing up for what is the right thing for you. And temperance for me is always like an extra... Um, energy of like spirits, hands, angels, God, whatever you believe in, all along that, bringing in the balance and also rewarding some wish that you probably have been wishing for. Okay, we're going to close this off. Let's get one final card for the outcome or added advice, please, spirit, for Leo. Powerful month. We're going to be moving into your sign very soon. Um, so, you know, what a beautiful time to rise up and stand up for yourself. Wow. There we go. The Fool. New start. This is what's coming. Beautiful, brand new beginning, a new start, and one where I do feel it's going to have a lot more equality in it than whatever this has been. And you're going to be excited. 
You're going to have all you need to move forward and go on this brand new journey, this brand new path. Gorgeous energy. Love it. King of Swords is on the bottom, speaking clearly, standing firm, being very um, clear, cut, and concise with your words of what it is you want. He never settles, ever. He's very powerful. So don't ever settle. You know what's right for you. Go after that. Confidence is key here. Okay, Leo, I hope this helps in some way. I wish you a beautiful month, and I hope to see you back here sometime.